Hey guys, Yuvraj here and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to move from a WordPress.com website to a WordPress.org or a self-hosted website. So this is a website I've created on WordPress.com. As you can see, the URL is brainstormforce something something number dot WordPress.com and I want to move this website to a WordPress.org or a self-hosted website that I have control over. So this is the website. This is the homepage that I've created for this website. And if I go into the admin area of my WordPress.com section, then this is what you'll see. Now, it's, uh, if you have multiple websites, you probably use this kind of admin area. And if you want to access the admin of the particular website that I just showed you, all you have to do is click the link right here and you'll be taken inside this section. So what you saw uh, right now was the homepage of the website, but I also have created a post just for demonstration. So let me open up the post for you. And this is the post I've created. I want to move to wordpress.org. Pretty cheeky, I know, but let's start with the actual moving process. So the first step that you have to take is to export your data from this current website or your wordpress.com website. And you can do that by going into tools, export, which will actually bring you here under manage, uh, sorry, not under manage, under tools and export. And now here you can export the content of your website. You can export the media or you can export everything on your website, which is what we're trying to do here. So what we'll do is click the export all button. And you'll see this notice. You'll also receive an email uh, with the link to download the file or the exported data, but you can also click this link right here. And you'll see a download box or something like that open up on the screen. Obviously I'm using a download manager, so your interface might look a little bit different, but the process will remain the same and it's done. So this is the file that I've downloaded or it was downloaded from the website. It's a zip file with a freakishly long name. Uh, but the important point to note is that you cannot actually use the zip file to import data on your wordpress.org website. You have to actually use an XML file, which is inside this zip file. So for what you need to do is first export or I would say extract the data from the zip file and then use it. So just use any utility uh, that you want to export or extract the files. I'm using 7-zip and I'll leave a link in the description for 7-zip so that you can download it if you already know, don't have a extracting software or a zip software. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go 7-zip and I'm gonna extract here. And this will create one more folder on my computer, but inside the folder, you'll see the XML file is here. And this is the file that I'll use to actually import the data on my website. So what you'll do or what I'll do is just copy the path to this so that I don't have to re-enter or navigate to this folder again. And, and I'll go to my website and start the import process. So I'm inside my website. As you can see, the URL is brainstormforce.xyz. And this is a completely blank WordPress install. And I would recommend that if you're importing uh, content from a WordPress.com website, you also use a completely blank WordPress install. The reason being that if you have a media files that have the same name that you want to import from the other website, or if you have posts or pages with the same titles, then sometimes it creates a conflict and the and titles or the pages from the WordPress.com website don't get imported. Then it's going to be a bit of a hassle uh, and you'll have to figure out what pages or posts uh, were ignored and it just saves time if you start from a blank website and if you've play, been playing around with the, the wordpress.org version creating pages and posts and you want to just uh, start from a blank slate no need to worry there's an easy solution just there are plenty of solutions out there to just reset your wordpress database we've already done a complete video on that so check out our channel for that but the short version is just use a plugin uh, something like i'd say WP Advanced Reset, just as I, uh, you can see, I have already installed it. Full disclaimer, I used this plugin to reset this website or cleared a complete blank website before I started recording this video, so you can do the same thing. And uh, let me just show you the website's contents. I have the posts option or the posts page, and as you can see, it's uh, just a hello world post, which is the default post that comes with WordPress. So let's start with the import process. I'll go into the tools menu and I'll go to import. And here we'll have a bunch of options to choose from. I will use WordPress, obviously. So we'll click this and it will install a completely new WordPress importer plugin on our website. Once the plugin is installed, we can run the importer by clicking the link right here, right here, or even going to the plugins menu and doing so. Let me just click this one. And now we'll select the XML file that we just downloaded. Now, one thing that you should be aware of before you start the import process is what is the maximum upload size that your host supports. As you can see, mine is set to 300 megabytes, which is more than enough, but some hosts are notorious and they just set it to just two megabytes. Now, usually that is fine, but if your website that you just exported is huge and uh, the resulting XML file is greater than 2 MB, then you'll run into issues. Now you have two options or two solutions. Either you can contact your host and get the limit increased, even temporarily is fine 
or what you can do is use something called an XML file splitter specific for WordPress. But don't worry, I'll leave links down in the description for a Windows utility and also for a Mac utility. So even if your host does not support increasing this limit, you can safely just split the file into multiple parts and repeat this process. Right now, there's no need to do so. So I'll just choose the XML file. I'll go here. And I already have the folder open up. I'll go here, select the XML file, upload file and import. So there are a bunch of things that you need to understand on this specific post. Uh, so what you can do is actually import the author that you had on the original wordpress.com website. And if you wanna do that, just leave the settings as it is. And what you can also do is create a new user on your wordpress.org website, that is this website. So just enter a name and a new user will be created. Or what you can do is have all the posts assigned to an existing user on this website. So if I go here, I can use the username or the current user on my website and all the posts that will be imported will be assigned to this user. And also make sure to check uh, and enable this option if you want to import all the media and images that you have uploaded to the wordpress.com website. Once you've configured these settings, just click the submit button and the import process is complete. Let's check out the post menu. I'll refresh this and the new post is now coming here. Let's also check out the homepage of the website. So this is one thing that you should be aware of. Uh, when you download and export the data from a wordpress.com website, your theme and obviously your WordPress settings are not exported. So right now I'm using the default 2020 theme, but it was a different theme that I was using on my wordpress.com website. Now, one important thing that you should know is that not all wordpress.com themes will be available for wordpress.org. And most likely the theme you were using on your wordpress.com website will not be available for your wordpress.org website. To save you some time, I'd recommend that you choose a new theme, which is great in all round performance, and then start designing your website around that. My personal recommendation would go to Astra. Let me open Astra's website. Full disclaimer, we are the ones that make the Astra theme, but it is also the most popular WordPress theme of all time, used by over a million people around the world. Astra is blazing fast, it's lightweight, and it's completely customizable. So no matter what design you were using your, on your WordPress.com website, it is very easy to replicate the same design on your new website if you're using the Astra theme. Let me show you an amazing feature of the Astra theme. When you download the Astra theme, you not only get the theme, but you also get access to hundreds of ready to import websites or templates that you can import to your website in just a few clicks. And not only that, uh, the templates that we offer also support multiple page builders. So you have support for Elementor, Beaver Builder, Brizzy, and also WordPress's default editor, the Gutenberg editor. And as you see, you have some beautiful templates you can install on your WordPress website in just a matter of few clicks. Let me open up this demonstration and show you how it looks. And as you can see, it's a beautiful looking website. And all you have to do to install or import this theme is install the plugin and just click a few buttons. It's that easy. I'll link a complete video on the starter templates that we've done in the annotations above and also leave a link down in the description so you can check it out. Let me close these tabs and get back to our original website. With the theme discussion out of the way, you might have also realized that the homepage of the website is quite different from the homepage that we had on the original website. So let me go inside the settings and change that. So what I'm going to do is go to the settings of my website. I'll go to settings, reading, and as you can see, the home page is set to display my latest posts, but I can change it to a static page. I'll select the home page to home and I'll save my changes and I'll refresh this page. And now you can see uh, based on the theme that I chose, the home page is now similar to what you saw on the wordpress.com website. And that's it. Uh, these are all the steps you need to take to migrate a website from wordpress.com to wordpress.org. But there's one more thing that you should know. So you migrated all the content from the wordpress.com website to wordpress.org website. But what about your SEO traffic and what about your users? How would they know that you actually moved to a new website? Well, the best way to do so is to create a redirection, which just means that whenever a user lands on the old URL of your website, they'll automatically be taken to a new URL or the new URL of your website. If you use a custom domain on your wordpress.com website and you intend to use the same domain name on your wordpress.org website, then I'd say the redirection is kind of mandatory. Also, if you bought the domain name from wordpress.com, I'd highly encourage you to transfer the domain name to your new host or new domain name provider. 
The process to do so is not complicated and I'll leave a link down in the description to a detailed blog post on WordPress.com's website which explains the process in sufficient detail. But if you're using a free domain name provided by WordPress.com and now you intend to move to a custom domain on a new host, then you can follow along the rest of the tutorial. Thankfully, the process of redirecting your free WordPress.com URL to a custom domain on your new WordPress.org website is present inside the WordPress.com interface, but there's a catch. Earlier, the setting used to be inside the Manage Domain Settings, right inside here, but the setting for some reason is now hidden, but it can be accessed via a direct URL. Let me show you the URL. So as you can see, this is the redirection menu and the URL is quite the same. Uh, there's a slight bit different and I'll leave a link down in the description with this exact URL, obviously except my website. And you can just replace it with your website and just access the URL and you'll see a similar menu. And what you have to do is just enter the new domain name that you want to redirect your existing website to and click the go button. And obviously it incurs a fee. It's 910 rupees per year, which is approximately $13 a year. And if you have any kind of traffic or SEO ranking and even links, then it's every worth every penny to actually use this service to redirect your old web website to your new website. And that's it guys. These are all the steps you needed to take to migrate a WordPress.com website to WordPress.org website. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for similar content. My name is Yuvraj. You're watching Brainstorm Forces YouTube channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.